It's a great uh, pleasure to welcome you all to the White House to participate in this ceremony honoring General Norstad again for his service to our country. He is overburdened uh, on his left uh, breast, uh, but I know of no one uh, to whom the people of the United States uh, owe more in the last uh, five or six years in the field of our national security. General Norstad held uh, two positions of uh, great importance and also a great sensitivity. On the one hand, he was commander of our forces, the American forces, in uh, Europe, and therefore uh, was responsible to the Department of Defense and to the President of the United States as commander-in-chief. He was also the commander of the NATO forces, of which we are uh, 115, so that uh, in that uh, sense he was a uh, 115th American. He was able to combine uh, these two uh, very uh, sensitive tasks uh, and important tasks with the greatest of skill. He held the confidence as a distinguished uh, successor to other great proconsuls who represented the, the West and held command, beginning with General Eisenhower, uh, General Grunther, who is here today, and uh, General Norstad. All were men who uh, held the confidence of their own uh, colleagues in the armed forces of the United States, but also, in a very unique way, uh, held the confidence of our allies uh, in Europe and, uh, of course, uh, our partner to the North, Canada. Our alliances are difficult to hold together. The community of interest, unless there is great overt danger from the outside, uh, the communities of interest are liable to uh, split them apart. And we have, uh, therefore, been very dependent upon the maintenance of this alliance for such a long period, with such success, on uh, General Norstad and his predecessors. I have been the beneficiary during uh, several very critical periods of General Norstad's uh, very uh, excellent, careful, and uh, courageous uh, counsel. I remember particularly during the spring uh, some months ago when we had uh, particular problems involved with the security of Berlin. I found over a period of uh, two to three weeks that his judgment in every case was borne out by events and was unerring, so that I have particular reason to regret his departure. But I am uh, heartened by the fact that he will be available, I'm sure, in the coming months and indeed uh, throughout his life to be of service to the United States government, and uh, we will uh, call upon him. So, General, we're glad to have you here today and take part in this. Perhaps, uh